Hey guys, Harry here, back with another garage vlog today. Um, I'm going to do a chest workout again. I tend to just do chest and variations between shoulders, chest and back. not been training any legs for a while because, you know, most of my training has been legs and deadlifts and squats for God knows how many years. So I'm just working my way back up, just doing a bit of, you know, a bit of, you know, general bodybuilding gym stuff. Um, upper body, mainly. And yeah, so not recorded a Britlane vlog this week. Um, from the last video you saw on my plot um, that we were on, we ran out of gobbo on that site with the silos, so we uh, managed to get some uh, some day work, so we didn't lose any days on uh, on another site. Um, mainly because Dean don't want to have any days off, so it's not right for me to say, oh, we're going to have a day off or two to wait for the silos to be refilled. So I uh, went to another site for a bit, and we've just been doing some remedials on this, this plot that has been built completely wrong. So we've been altering that for a bit, so we're going to be there for at least probably another week. It's a right fucking job, and it's mind-numbingly boring. I hate day work, but it is what it is. Get paid, and everyone uh, gets a wage. So, uh, we're then back on price on those plots, back on that Gleason job again, in a few, you know, from when you're seeing this, you know, quite a few days or so, whenever I record again. Um, so yeah, let's get into the garage and get on with it. Right, see you in the next clip. Oh, hey guys, uh, in the garage now. Uh, I've got, I had this on from last video, this um, 30 kilo, uh, just... I was doing some curls with it last video, but I think I'm going to do a bit some shoulder raises today. Um, you know, we'll sort of, with a straight bar, lifting it up and ideally hit the side delt, front delt a little bit. And you're sort of getting, squeezing all parts of the shoulders really, but it's not directly hitting your rear delts as much. So I'm going to do a couple of sets with this and then wear the shoulders out a little bit and then I'll try to do some, some bench again with those dumbbells. Warm the chest up a little bit with this bar as well. You know, it's always you know if you're not trying to lift for maximal strength, you always have to be lifting using heavy weights. If you're just wanting to get a pump. And I saw this again in the garage, my 11-inch uh, Marshall Town. I've had it for a while to be honest, and uh, I said I was going to use it a few videos back. I think I'm going to give it a go at some point. Um, you know try you know with with training try lose a little bit of weight i've lost quite a bit since even january of this year i was watching an old video back with the top knot when i used to have top knot and uh, the beard was growing out a bit more and i could have probably i was using a seven inch trowel but i'm going to have a go with the with the big trowel again you know maximal speed i find just on the connie bricks that a lot of these sites now in the area um we're all going to connie bricks and and it, it, the one at a time doesn't seem to work as much because he always sometimes he puts so much mortar down, and the brick below wants to squish down as well. You know, whereas if you get a nice even long spread, you can just you know slide them in nice and easy. Um, you know, a lot of guy you know seen a lot of guys do the front tip on them like I do sometimes the front tip traditional. Um, but it depends on the brick. Every kind of brick is very very different because some will sink more than others. And others will, you know, some of them don't hardly sink as much as others. It's weird. It's some will go solid the next day. Some will be a bit wet the next day, even with silo mix, uh, and you'll be able to rejoin them and stuff. So it's what it is. You've just got to, you know, we're getting like seven hundred a thou. Some places are paying eight hundred a thou on these coney bricks, and you've got to just sort of adapt to what materials are in your area, you know, and what work you you, you prefer to do. Like these houses and one at the moment, fucking dead easy, dead simple. You know, um, there's just nothing really to fuck your build up too much. You know, they're easy. You can't really get them wrong because all the heights are the same, all head heights are the same, all your, you know, it's just very straightforward. Very straightforward. That's all I'd say. Because some houses they're not as straightforward, and it takes you it takes you months and months and months to get used to them. Whereas they, whereas these plots, you know, it's been like after about a couple of weeks, I've got my head around them all and felt so very simple so seems if we're on concrete bricks for a while the, the, the long spread and the big trowel might be something to to really take up see if I could hit some some fast numbers with them you know still getting better every every year you know it takes years and years to 
build up speed and you know I like to put put it out there on YouTube see me laying see the way I do it just because not everyone's as fast as you know there's varying levels of skill out there there's guys who have fucking seen and you know people it's easier for people on YouTube to pick fault with shit you know because if you're putting it out there all the time picking fault the way you do things picking fault with you know your style what they're calling your rough whatever you know I get called fucking lazy all the time so I don't get there until after 8 that's my choice and uh, you know people don't like it but yeah so we're going to do some training and uh, I'll stop talking for a bit and I'll uh, see you in the uh, in the next clip So yeah, um, those felt quite good actually. I can feel you can feel a lot in the side delts, and if you squeeze right at the top of the traps as well. So a lot of us natural guys just struggle to build. You know the the size in your traps it can be a structure as well. It depends what sort of frame you've got. But you know some guys have got a bit more narrower set. Some guys have you know like sort of more peaks in the biceps and or longer biceps, shorter biceps they can look bigger and stuff like that. So. Uh, I've got one of my old Gold's Gym training vests on, uh, training hoodies, and this used to be like, you know, nothing was spilling out on it. it used to, I used to be in really good shape, but obviously years of fucking neglecting the diet and stuff. I had a really clean diet at one point, you know, you wouldn't believe it now. We, <laughs> as I've been on YouTube Britley and I just look like some fat fucking alky, but, you know, I was into it very much so. Uh, ever since I was 15, 14. Probably 13 actually, I got my first weight set at 12 or 13 I think, begged my mum to get me some, uh, when I was in year, I think it was in year 9 at school, so, so yeah, alright, I'll do some, a couple more sets and some, uh, some dumbbells. warmed up a little bit on the um, on the barbell and I can still feel where I originally injured my shoulder a little bit um, it was my left shoulder I'm sure it was it was my left shoulder because I could always feel it when I was spreading higher and I did it doing dips on this dip station right here so I'm still doing dumbbells it's a bit easier on the shoulders than barbells yeah it's one thing that it takes a lot of years of lifting and I used to listen to these all these bodybuilders who have been lifting 15 years, 20 years, and they'd say stuff like this, and I'd be like, yeah, it's just an excuse, but it's real. Like, once you've injured yourself, you have to fucking work around it. You can't always do the same exercises that you once did, so. So, yeah, right. Let's uh, carry on. So, I'm just going to use these um, 12 and a half kilo dumbbells um, for the first set, and then we're going to move to the 35s. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. one set of those, I was pretty happy actually, I got a good, um, you know, felt it in the chest quite a lot, still feel it a lot in the shoulders obviously, the shoulders do try to take some of the weight, and uh, yeah, but you know, they're feeling good, so, we'll do another set, I've not got the wrist wrap, 
these are like powerlifting wrist wraps, they're a bit extra, a bit long, a bit thicker. I've not got them on tight, it's just there just for comfort really, because in my head they might be doing something, even though they don't do anything really, they support your joint on maximal loads, but with weight like this, I just do it for comfort. So, I'm going to do another set or so, and then I'll probably finish off with some triceps. I'm going to probably take... Um, might take the easy bar and do some some skull crushes. It's not something I do all the time, but uh, and then I'll probably finish off with some tricep press downs on my with my bands, and that should hit the tries pretty well because I can feel them now already. So, but just for me, even getting in and doing a little bit of a workout, if you've been anyone who's trained at a sort of semi amateur level, you know, for a while, um, get muscle memory comes back and stuff. So. You know, it's uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it, I'm pretty happy with it again. So, yeah, I'm gonna do another set, and yeah, see you in the next clip. Dumbbells are a bit loose, so it needs a massive allen key, and I don't think I've got one for it. Um, so, yeah, that'll throw me off a bit, but well, um, try some triceps now. Try some triceps and get some more water drank. I've only had about two pints so far, so I'll get in a bit more water and get a bit more of a pump. So, yeah, all right, and hopefully, my phone's charged a bit, that's why it's been at this angle. So, all right, see you next clip. <laughs> Feels really good actually. Um, I've not got a tricep pump like this in fucking years. So yeah, you know, try it out if you struggle to feel your triceps. If you're next in the gym, you know, try it out with some light weight, just a easy bar. I've got like 15. I've got seven and a half, seven and a half. It's 15. About a 20 kilo bar there. So you know, it's not. You don't need a lot of weight there. So. Right, I'll try a few more, a few more sets. I start to get sweat. Uh, try a few more sets, and then I think I'll finish off with some uh, press downs. All right, see you next clip. <laughs>
Yeah, so that was it. Another one down. Good workout, that, to be fair. So yeah, only another week of mind numbing day work, and then uh, back to building, back to building, back to making some content. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed, and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.